Welcome to our Percona YouTube channel. This is a hands-on tutorial to guide you through the installation process of Percona distribution for PostgreSQL 15 on Rocky Linux 9. Learn step by step how to set up this powerful database system on your projects. Today, we have a special guest, Pavel Tanko, a senior software developer in TES at Percona, who is happy to show us how it's done. Hi, Pavel. Glad to have you here. How are you? Hello, Edith. How are you? I am glad to contribute. <laughs> Thanks, Pavel. Before starting, what is Percona distribution for PostgreSQL? Well, Percona distribution for PostgreSQL is a bundle containing the actual PostgreSQL uh, database, plus a collection of tools and extensions, which uh, run well together, such as PG Backrest, which is a backup and restore tool for PostgreSQL, uh, Patroni, which is PostgreSQL high availability tool, and pgstat monitor, which collects and uh, aggregates statistical data for Postgres and provides uh, histogram information and some other tools as well. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Besides Rocky Linux, what other Linux distributions do we support? In addition to all the Red Hat derivatives like uh, Rocky, Alma, Oracle Linux, and Red Hat, we also support Debian and Ubuntu. Thanks for the introduction, Pavel. So the stage is all yours. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, the installation on an empty uh, virtual machine with uh, Rocky Linux 9. I created that VM with Vagrant. So let me connect to it. Mm -hmm. And we're inside. Let's verify again. It's the proper one. And yes, that's uh, Rocky Linux 9.1. It's a clean mm -hmm. VM. So first we start with uh, installing uh, an RPM package from uh, Percona website. I will copy that so it's a long URL. So we install this RPM package with uh, this URL, which you can find in the official documentation. Vagrant creates virtual machines with the Vagrant user, which has pseudo permissions, mm -hmm. and this is very useful. Uh, this package, Percona release, uh, of course, we have to type yes here to install it. So we just installed uh, the package called Percona release. It provides a command which is also named Percona release. And we have to use this command to set up a repository, a yum repository, for the desired version of PPG, Percona Postgres uh, we're going to be doing 15. So we have to say sudo percona release setup ppg 15. This will create a yum repository for ppg 15. Now it asks us if we want to disable the modules LLVM toolset and PostgreSQL but that is valid for Red Hat 8 and we are on 9, so we just accept the default here, which is no. And uh, we have the repo now configured. And now we can do the actual installation. So it's sudo, sudo. Again, the Vagrant user has sudo permissions. Mm -hmm. So it's sudo, uh, yum, or DNF, whichever you prefer. Let's do it with DNF this time. DNF. Install Recona uh, PPG Server 15. Mm -hmm. This brings a total of 15 packages, RPM packages for our Rocky Linux 9. They are necessary for the Recona servers to work. So accept, yes. And we also have to accept the Percona GPG key, also yes here. And we have it installed, but before we can use it, we should call the initdb command. I'll again copy that because it's uh, somewhat long. Okay. So according to the documentation, we have to call Postgres setup with initdb parameter. This command uh, creates a database cluster uh, 
and uh, uses a default folder where the database data will live. By default, this, this folder is var lib psql 15 data, but you can also provide uh, dash d, capital D, and also supply some other folder, for example, my folder here, but we're going to go with the default. Mm -hmm. So just like that, Okay, that's nice. So what do, what do you say is the default one? The default folder, I'll show it next when I become the Postgres user. You'll okay. see it then. Mm -hmm. um, now the last thing to do is to actually start the Linux service. Uh, sudo system scale start dash 15. And just to verify, Instead of start, we type status mm -hmm. and we can see the service is active and running. So uh, there we have it. We just installed uh, Percona Postgres 15 on our Rocky Linux 9. Nice. <laughs> it was great. So we can do um, a smoke test, something to test the, the database, maybe create a tables or insert some data. Yes. Yes, we can definitely do that. Okay. So as I said, the installation uh, creates a Linux user, which is named Postgres. Let's become this user. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, uh, the default folder where the database cluster keeps its data is in this environment variable, which is called PG data. And it's this one slash var slash lib slash psql slash 15 slash data. Mm -hmm. uh, this variable is available to the Postgres Linux user. Okay. Uh, now, uh, from this user, we can launch the psql command line Postgres client, psql like that. And by default with no parameters, it uh, connects to the local host. So a quick, uh, verification that everything is fine. We can run select version function. And we can see that we are running PostgreSQL 15 per corner distribution mm -hmm. and some other data here. Now to, uh, if you want to create some database, for example, we can, it's uh, as simple as typing create database and let's call it my database. Uh, you, it's not required to use capital letters here, but just uh, for clarity, I'm typing that with capital letters. Okay. So we can list the databases backslash L and there it is my database. Now we can connect to that database backslash C, my data maze. And it says you're now connected to database, my database. Mm -hmm. So now let's um, create a table. Mm -hmm. I will copy this because it's too long and I don't want to make some typo. Okay. So we create a table links with three Columns, ID, URL, and name. There we have it. And we can even list this table, backslash D, T. And uh, here, name, links, type table, owner, Postgres. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, insert some data. I will also copy this because mm -hmm. it's somewhat long. With this uh, insert statement, we insert uh, this URL, percona.com, PostgreSQL software, and then the name is Percona software for PostgreSQL. And now let's run a select statement just for fun. Yes. <laughs> select R. Yeah. From links. There you go. You have your first data yes we have percona distribution for postgresql installed so thank you so much pavel it was a really nice hands-on tutorial <laughs>
thank you to edit if you tried percona distribution for postgresql let us know down in the comments and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the percona forums we are always glad to answer thank you pavel and see you in our next video tutorial bye bye <laughs>